poop, poop. Wow, amazing sunset. Drive, please, drive. So, we're about 10 minutes away from Mort in the Marsh. We're going to the caravan and to motorhome club site. It's only the second time we've done one of these club sites. The first time we went to Stovercourt. Brunjus, chilled. Brunjus! <laughs> If you say so. Awful. It was actually not Stovercore where Klingon spent the afterlife, but Stover Club in Devon. It was a nice enough site, but we found the staff very rude, which kind of spoiled it for us, really. Let us know in the comments if we should do a video about Stover Club. And there's Melvin. Is he looking Melvin like? He's resplendent. Anyway, back to Morton in Marsh. Buildings all the way along with the large ways and all clean baskets. into the office where the friendly staff were waiting for us to arrive. Have they got a shop? Yeah, they've got a little shop with chocolate bars and essentials. It's a very, very nice looking site. There's two big toilet blocks. Looks very well kept. It's expensive, but it's one of those ones where it's like, you get what you need. There's a bit of road noise, but it's not too intrusive. Yeah, we like it. Sante. Mmm. I'm just going to do a little walk around this site. So, we pitched up here on a serviced pitch. It doesn't have water, but it has got electric hookup. I can hear the road now, but at night it was really peaceful. I could hear a little bird singing all night. See, here's one of the toilet blocks. They've got one, another one, just like this on the other side of this site. And it is immaculately clean and heated. Really well lit. Just have a little peep inside. Showers look proper as well. Gosh, even hair dryers. And there's a disabled block over there. We're going on a walk on the Arboretum Trail, which is a footpath that goes from an Arboretum in the neighbouring village into Morton in the Marsh town and you can get on it straight from the campsite. So that should be lovely I think. Chilly wind but a lovely day. Yeah the sun's come out. So going here and there we have the yurts and there's a children's playground. Yeah there's the dog exercise field. And you can play a good game of fetch in there. Rabbits at work it says watch out for holes. <laughs> and here you've got a communal fire pit which is very nice. Wooden benches around. This gate goes out to the arboretum footpath. It's going down here. Well it has rained a lot so if this is as muddy as it gets not bad at all. Oh, how wrong I was. Ah, this is very muddy here. I have to walk for a big puddle. We should have put wellies on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. Uh, well, we're in it now. Oh, yeah. Let's just go for it. Yeah. And then it's like a kissing gate. 
wasn't too bad. It's, no, it's not too bad. It's the same on the other side. Oh, is it? <laughs> it's not too bad actually, just to walk straight through the big puddle because it's not too squishy on the bottom. Oh, she's got a nice big muddy stick to carry along with her. As you can hear, there's an idiot <laughs> in what he thinks is a very souped up car. Oh, that's a bit firm. So, all, all we do is walk, there's, there's the town, Morton on the Marsh, we just walk up through this field and then we were on a tarmac footpath through there. So that's not too bad, wellies would be advised at this time of year. And now we're walking into the beautiful town of Morton in Marsh with its Cotswold stone buildings and old brick and signpost there, Monarch's Way, the mud wet. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This, the buildings are so pretty. Just a very short walk from the footpath into right into the centre of town. There's a number of different coffee shops and cafes and restaurants. Try. Try them all. <laughs> Oh, here we go, coffee, straight away. Batsford Arboretum, that's it, Batsford. That's the next town that has the Arboretum and the path goes all the way there. Morton in Marsh is a medieval market town in the Cotswolds in Gloucestershire. Many of the buildings are made from this distinctive honey-coloured local limestone known as Cotswold Stone, which is rich in fossil sea urchins. It's a quintessentially English town to visit if you enjoy going to independent little shops and cafes. Yeah. What's it like? It's very nice actually. Some nice smells. Very, very quaint. <laughs> we're not so much into the shopping, but we were spoiled for choice with the cafes there. We settled on lunch at a place called Huffkins. As dogs are welcome, it was spacious inside, which is important for us when I'm guiding Zoe around, especially with our wayward pickle in tow. And the food looked promising. I'll eat anything, me, but Zoe has exacting standards, and particularly when it comes to good coffee. So let's see if this place lives up to expectations. <laughs> Huffkins Cafe, Huffkins Cotswold Bakery and Cafe Tea Rooms, established 1890. We're a very, very fancy lunch. I think I'm going to have a beef pasty. Two melt of large black coffee. And I might have a hot chocolate. <laughs> What did you think of your meal? Oh, it was phenomenal. The pasty was gorgeous. The salad, the salad dressing, it, even the tomato ketchup had like little spices in it. It was so yummy. And this hot chocolate, I think it's the best I've ever, ever had. I keep burping. <laughs> so chocolatey without being overly sugary. It's good. My tuna melt was absolutely fabulous. It was lovely. Five out of five, the coffee's beautiful coffee. Everything about it was perfect. Definitely recommend coming in here. Huffkins. And it's on the main street through the town. When we got back to Melvin, Kiva had a holiday treat to enjoy too, never to be left out. Thank you to um, Waterbury. Water 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 that's nice. Oh, oh no! Oops, there goes the wing mirror. But it was okay. Stick me out. Two stops for you, Vera. Did the hedge not see you coming? Didn't move out of the way. Hello, people. Where are you going? So, with regards to the caravan and motorhome club site that walked into the marsh, I would give that. Five out of five. Yeah, I would. I can't 
can't think of anything to mark it down except that slight negative that you mentioned about. Yeah, the potholes that are on the sort of roads around the site, it's a, it's a bit potholy. Yes. But that's, it encourages people to go slowly. So. Yes. And it's a, a bit of a muddy walk into town, but that's due to the time of year. We walked back along the road, which is just as quick. Yep. And no yep. muddy. Nice white pavement. And the fish and chips we had last night were very good. So overall, yes, Morton in Marsh, Caravan and Motor Home Club. It's like five out of five. Thank you very much. This is a very pretty village as well. I'm Malish and I love travelling in our van. You have to go left a bit. Hi, I'm Zoe and I'm severely sight impaired, but I still love going out in Melvin the Motor. What are you doing? Hi, I'm Kiva and I love people. Hello, I'm Melvin the Motorhome. And together we want to travel the world. And we hope you join us on our adventures.